What we're doing for this shot right here is the sun is starting to set where we're standing because we're in the, you know, the shadow of the mountain, but we still have this beautiful sky that's getting real milky and kind of creamy looking. The problem is if we light her, even with one light, whatever light we put here, we're gonna have super heavy shadows and nasty contrast down here, and we're gonna have a beautiful sky in the background. So we wanna even out the lighting. So we're gonna use our main light with the big, huge light source to paint light on her whole body. And then we're gonna shoot a fill light in with just a small, uh, uh, bare bulb flash with a teeny bit of diffusion in front of it, just to fill in the shadows. When people are doing fill light, it's kind of debatable if you, you can use very small light sources or huge light sources, it just gives you a little bit different look in the shadows. But we're gonna use a pretty small light source that's gonna look really cool. So we're gonna power this up again to about F16. So it matches this, cause the sun is still hitting the sky, but it's not hitting here. And we're gonna put the light high into the right, but we're gonna kind of loop light it. So it's not super aggressive like it was earlier. It's about 30 to 35 degrees off to her right or my left. And then we're gonna add the fill light just off to the side of my camera, pumping into the shadow side right here. And by the end of the shot, as you see, as we build it with one light, two lights, seeing the ambient light, seeing uh, what, what the settings are with the flash, it's gonna look pretty rad. So hopefully <laughs> that's the plan. 